make a custom icon font. It's so easy and I'll show you how to do it. My name is Michelle and I release weekly videos on marketing, web design, and content creation strategies. So if you find these videos helpful, please be sure to give it a like. It helps my videos get found by others. And as always, I'd love for you to subscribe. I really appreciate the support. The last thing I wanna say is that to be sure to check out the description of this video, I've listed some other alternative sites that you can use to create custom icon fonts as well. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get to the tutorial. The first thing that we need to do to make our custom icon set is to get the icons that we want. So I am currently in Illustrator and I've got 10 different artboards that I've created. Doesn't really matter what size you make them because we are working with vector graphics, but it does matter that you wanna keep them pretty similar in size if you can, just seems to work better. So I've gone with like a 500 by 500 pixel artboard for each of my icons. And then I've just created some graphics that I might wanna use on my website or be nice to have. So the whole reason why we want to make our custom icon font is because you can have your icon installed on your computer and you can use them in Google Docs or Word Docs. And it's also nice to have on your website. So if you've got some vector graphics that you know you repeatedly use, why not turn them into a font so that you can easily load them onto your site? So I've got a couple of like numbered steps. Now these you could create on a website pretty easily if you had a number and then you put like a ring around it. You know, you could put a border with CSS. Sometimes it's just easier and less work if it's in an icon form. So why not do that? I've got a menu icon. I've got like a checklist, some talk bubbles, a website a ribbon, a light bulb, and some high-fiving. So it doesn't really matter what you're using. You can create any kind of graphics that you want as long as they are a vector. So once I've got this AI file here, I wanna save them as SVG files. In order to turn these into SVG files, I would need to go up to the file menu and then I'm gonna choose save as my window pops up and then I can give it any name that I want to. I'm just gonna choose MTC icons. It's currently the AI file, but I'm gonna switch that by going down here and then I'm going to choose just the regular SVG. The other thing that I want to check is use artboards and I wanna use all. So this is just going to save all of my individual artboards as SVG files. So I will click save and then I will hit okay. And that's really all there is to it. So now how do I turn this into a font? So let me show you one of the programs that I like to use to do this. So today I'm gonna to use Ico Moon. I will leave a link in the description if you wanna find that site easily. It's just icomoon.io. And so it allows you to make your custom font. The first thing I need to do is click Ico Moon app. So it does have a lot of different icons already loaded in that you can choose to be a part of your custom font if you want to have them. It's up to you. They're all free. You don't have to use them. So if there's something in there that you're like, oh, that would be nice to have, you can always include that. Otherwise, we could just turn that off and we can upload our own set. So I'm gonna click import icons. And here we can see all of our individual SVG files. If you're not sure how they are named, I did name my artboard. So that did give them, it looks like I might've forgotten one of them, but that's where these names are coming from. So if they're, if you forget to do that, you can always go back and rename your individual SVG files. But I want to choose all of them. So I will click the top one. I'm gonna hold shift, click the bottom. That way it selects all of them and then hit open. And now I can see that my custom icons have been loaded in. I do wanna give this set a name. So if I wanna change that, because you can create an account, you can save these, you can always come back to later to make adjustments. I would click this little drop down, and I could adjust properties. So in this set, let's give it a name. To do that, I'll click edit metadata. And so you can fill out as much information as you want. I put name, Michelle the creator, URL, I put my website, and then designer Michelle S. All's good, you can choose to add designer URL, license or license URL if that applies to you. It doesn't really apply to me, so I'm just gonna hit the X here. And then I need to choose the icons that I wanna use. Obviously, since this is the first time, I'm gonna select all of these so that they're highlighted. So I've got these 10 selected, and then I wanna come down to the bottom of the screen where it says generate font. So I will click this button, and then it's gonna show me all of the glyphs that it's made. It's got 
the classes it's generated, it's got codes. You could actually change those codes if you needed to, or it's duplicating that. But if I needed to change it to something different, you have that ability to make that change. And then once I'm satisfied with how everything's looking right there, then again, down in this bottom right-hand corner, I would just click download. So from the file that I downloaded, I can see that it says Ico Moon. It'll be a zipped file. So when you unzip it, you're gonna find a couple of things inside of it. Not only are you gonna get all of your fonts in the different formats, you will also get some demo HTML so that you can see how to use it. And then you'll also get the CSS styles that you need so that you can install these on your website as a web font. So it's really nice if, if you wanna take a peek at what that looks like. Let's check out the style.css. So I can see the at font face and then it's already got everything set up for me. And then it's got all of the classes that it generated so that I can use these custom fonts. I'll close that. If you wanna take a look at what the demo.html file looks like, we can see that in order to use the custom icons, all you have to do is put in a span tag with a class and then I can see icon MTC icons underscore checklist or whatever icon name that I wanna use. So just by copying this, code, I can put this on my website. You will want to make sure that you install these correctly on if you're using like a WordPress, like with a child theme, I have a fonts folder. If you're curious of what that looks like, I can show you that real quick. So in my child theme that I have on my WordPress site, I have a fonts folder where I've put in my Ico Moon custom icons. And then I have a style sheet as well in here where I've inserted the CSS that was needed. A quick tip that I will say, if you are structuring things in this manner, it's always good to make sure that your URL structures are correct. Otherwise the fonts are not going to work. What do I mean by that? I'll show you really quickly. In my custom.css file, you can see where I pasted the CSS that was given in the download, except I had to make one change. I had to add the dot dot forward slash in front of the fonts because the way that I've set mine up, it needs to go out of the folder and then back into a new one. And so I needed to make sure that that was structured correctly in order for it to work properly. So if you're having any issues when you're trying to install on your website, just know that you wanna make sure that it's pointing exactly where your fonts folder is located. And then once you have everything installed, it's time to test it out. So as you can see, I'm a Divi user, so I have just added some text modules with my custom font icons. And so to see what that looks like, we can just go to the text tab and I can see span class icon, MTC icons number one, that's number two and number three. And it allows me a quick and easy way to put some custom graphics on. Super simple, super easy. I hope you try it out. If you run into any issues or have any questions, just let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to help. And also if there is a tutorial that you would love to see, just let me know and I will film a video on it. I hope you found this information helpful. Please be sure to give it a like if you did. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.